How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches Identity. Something that we all hold sacred to ourselves and how we identify ourselves. There are many ways you can identify someone more than just their physical appearance. There's DNA, personality, genders. That's a big one now. And nationalities. Today's video, we're gonna be diving into all of them. And I, I do wanna point out, <laughs> I've tried to avoid making a video on this person. One, because I believe some people just don't deserve any more attention than they're getting. And two, it's a sensitive subject to talk about because one wrong opinion, which by the way, there's, there's no such thing as a wrong opinion. That's why they call it an opinion, it's yours. And everyone comes for your ass. Today, uh, via your request, we're going to be reacting to a young man called Ollie London. Now, Ollie London uh, identifies as Korean and has spent so much money, hundreds of thousands, some say even close to a million, in transforming himself into the BTS band member, Jimin. Yep, I'm not making this up. You guys have all probably heard of this person at some point. There's been various TikToks, news articles, Dr. Phil had him on the show. Good old Dr. Phil. And this man is uh, widely negatively received. But I'm willing to give anyone the benefit of the doubt and uh, give them a chance to shine here on Daz Games. Let's watch a video of Oli uh, just coming out of one of his surgeries. Let's watch a video! Hey guys, I'm. Don't think that was correct, but anyway. Finally, Korean, I've transitioned. I'm so, so happy I've completed my look. I'm finally Korean, guys. I have the eyes. Just had a brow lift as well. Apparently, Koreans have been attacked by a hornet nest. This is outrageous. This is outrageous. You can't, oh my God. Let me tell you something now, all right? We all know that Korean people have beautiful eyes. They have beautiful eyes. The shape, color, they're just beautiful people, stunning people. This is not Korean. This man looks like he needs an EpiPen immediately. Um, so I'm so happy. Finally, I've been trapped in the wrong body for eight years. It's the same body. You've just, you just had operation on your face. It's true. And that's the worst feeling in the world when you're trapped and you don't feel like you can be yourself. But finally, I'm Korean. I can be myself. And I'm so, so happy. Korean people hate you, bro. Like, I've seen so many compilations of you once trying to speak in their tongue and you don't. They're like, have you seen these compilations? They're like, what? What did he say? <laughs> it doesn't, you're not speaking Korean, my friend. You look like Katie Price on a weekend bender. Why? Here's a question. Why are surgeons allowed to do this? I'm serious, especially when it comes to people's faces. I am friends with, with so many more girls than I am, guys, and all of them, every last sodding one of them want to get their lips done and their face, and I'm like, why? I think there should be a rule that no, no surgery is allowed to, to go on your face. It doesn't look good. Look at these lips, look at them. Doesn't look Korean, he looks like he just lost to Mayweather. Sounds like a pug. Like he can't breathe out his nose properly. I am a new Korean pop star called Jimin. I wonder what Jimin feels about this. He must have seen this. Can't imagine he'd react too well to this. Happy with my new Korean eyes, my new Korean brow lift, my new Korean temple lift. Everything Korean, guys. I now identify fully as Korean. I'm so happy I can live my life the way I Look, look, li listen, listen, all right? I I if I have to be the one to say it, I'll say it, okay? <laughs> First of all, Ollie, you don't need surgery, you need therapy. And I'm pretty sure your therapist will need a therapist. Second of all, Koreans are not a race, it's a nationality. If you really want to be Korean, why don't you, one, apply for a citizenship? I very much doubt you'll get one after this, but go ahead. Surely you want to um, be Korean? Maybe try serving in the military for three years, because that's what all Koreans have to do. You can't just dye your hair pink, get a nose ring, and identify as whatever the fuck you want. 
And I'm sick of seeing it. I'm sick of seeing it. I see some hideous shit in the world. Like, there are places... Do you know the statistic for starvation is? Nine million people a year. Yep. Die of hunger and hunger-related diseases. Nine million people die. There are places where people are being gassed and dismembered by their own governments. And we're over here with this guy. We're over here and we're so wound up and we're protesting and marching the streets because the porcelain toilet that our asshole touches is not designated for what we believe we are. We're arguing over where we take a shit. I'm sorry, I don't care what you identify as. Just go into the bathroom, take your pants down, take a shit and fuck off like the rest of us, all right? Just stop it. This man cannot identify as Korean. Is he North Korean? Is he South Korean? We will never know. I want to live it finally after being trapped for so long. Jimmy no ba. Is this the same as if I was to blackface? Is it the same? I think it is. I think it is. I think this is really insensitive. <laughs> it just is, isn't it? And all this, um, you know, getting this surgery to to be himself is what he said imitating a whole nother nationality that's not being yourself when you have to imitate someone else how's that being yourself i don't get that it actually contradicts the term identity but anyway I'm sorry, what? Okay, Jimin from BTS, have you ever seen those boys dance? Wow. And they, they never even seem to be out of breath or break a sweat, it's, it's insane. This man is on a bed, holding a camera vlog style, and this is how he breathes. Are you sure you're not transitioning into Darth Vader? <laughs> sorry. This is madness, this is mad. What in the Steven Spielberg's jaws is that? Oh, he's, he's worn them down to get, um, enamels. Is that what it's called? Enamel teeth? And unless your teeth are, like, rotting and wasting away or you need to do it, don't be a fucking moron. Don't grind away your real teeth that you should have forever and get fake ones. Eh, honest to God, don't do it. Come out today. Something that's been, like, on my mind for a long time, and I've been very confused about how I identify. I've been very, very confused. And, you know, I've seen a lot of other people online that have... It, look, there's a, there's a very vast difference in how you want to identify and what you wish you could be. I wish I could look like Daniel Craig, okay? But I don't. I wish I could look like Jennifer Lawrence for the day. I won't, I won't say why. We won't get too deep into that. But I can't. Just because I would like to look like someone else. We've all done it, you know? How, how many of you ladies out there have looked at the screen and gone, Beyonce, I want her ass. To be honest, I, I do that as well. We all admire, and through a little hard work and like, uh, weight loss or muscle gain, and you can get pretty close, but we're so lost in what identities we want to be rather than proud of the identity we were born with. And that's the problem with the world today. So many people are masking mental illness and hiding away from it behind a wall of the idea we can be anything. And this is why a lot of people, I think, get very confused, worried, scared, sometimes angry and annoyed at this whole identity crisis that the world's going through. Because this, everyone has asked the question, where is the line? Where does it stop? The entire infrastructure of mankind could just crumble if we don't know who the fuck we are. If there's not a line at some point, okay? If you read the comments on this man's channel, everyone is outraged. Everyone is, you know, making very, very valid points. And I'm not defending him, but if we look at how contradiction this culture has become, under the rules that protects all the other uh, genders that are uh, new and still coming through, apparently you are allowed to identify as whatever you want and not be questioned on it. But because this man is trying to like replicate a nationality, people are seeing it as racist. This is not racist, this is insanity. All right, we have a very big saying here on Daz Games. Very big saying, it crops up all the time. If you're not hurting anyone, knock yourself out.
you know? And although this guy is not hurting anyone, he's hurting himself. This is clearly not normal behavior. You can't just get your eyes done and become a whole different ethnic group. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Come out and been very brave about it and shared their story about how they identify their gender, their pronouns, etc. So... Uh, no, identifying as different genders is very, very different than this. You know, I've taken courage from these incredibly brave um, people and it is Pride Month at the moment, so... You know, I thought this was the best time to do it. Um, it's such a shame because um, if he hadn't have done all this, done all this to himself and gone through uh, and gone on as many talk shows as he can to get all this attention, um, he, I think he could actually be a really nice guy. You know, and add add a voice, add strength to the LGBTQ plus I community. Um, so I am going to come out today and say that I've been transitioning. I've been very unhappy with who I am deep. Thing is, I can see why people are getting angry, because many people, that they do struggle with their identity, okay? Primarily, I think most people struggle with uh, gender identity. It can be a very hard thing to go through. Sometimes the identity that you are given um, at birth is not the identity you feel you truly are, and people chase after it. But I do feel that there is a lot of disgenuine um, identity crisis out there. Uh, I have a daughter who's in school, and it's madness what these kids are coming out with. Down um, for the last eight years, and I, you know, I've had like 18 plastic surgeries now, and I've just had a facelift, um, a brow lift, a temple lift, an eye surgery, a cantharplasty, um, and my teeth done as well. Um, just these are just part of my transition. Um, and I'm feeling really good. I'm for the first time in my life, I feel beautiful. You know, I'm looking in the mirror, and I love the way I look and uh, feel happy. Um, and I hope people can respect my decision. Though I feel that this person should really have consulted maybe a psychologist <laughs> before going through with this. Um, it is his decision at the end of the day. It's, and if he's, I don't know if he's genuinely happy. I wouldn't say he is. But unfortunately, all this will probably wear off because this, this isn't like, this isn't like transgender where someone is born uh, the wrong gender and they transition into the opposite sex. This is someone trying to transition into another eth ethnicity. <laughs> I don't know how you can be born to believe and feel Korean. How do you feel Korean unless you were raised in or around that culture? This is an obsession. This is someone that loves Korean culture. Nothing wrong with that. It's a beautiful culture. I'm a fan myself. Someone who was obsessed with uh, the boy band, BTS. I love them too. Because of other mental illnesses that have gone that have gone undiagnosed, this is the result. We should be pointing fingers at our healthcare system and our mental health teams around the country because it's diabolical here in Britain. And in Korean law, doesn't matter if you're non-binary. They don't care over there. You have to serve in the military, so maybe go and do that for a while. Excited for you guys to see the results. I'm finally making my dreams come true of completing my K-pop idol look and looking like Jimin. You don't, you look more like Ellen DeGeneres. You, you just, you don't look like Jimin. I'm gonna be having a canteplasty, which is an eye procedure to make my eyes more beautiful, more Korean, more K-pop, just like Jimin. And I will also be going, undergoing a brow lift as well, just to give me that kind of more beautiful, defined look around my eye area. Wow, this is unreal to me. This is unreal. He keeps saying, you know, my, my K-pop eyes, my K-pop lips, like, I'm pretty sure Koreans don't define their eyes as K-pop. That's so insensitive. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Provided the doctors, they hotels, everything, you name it, guys, they have taken care of me so much. So I'm really, really happy. I'm so comfortable and I feel so confident. Um, and this is actually not my first surgery. I'm sure a lot of you guys know. Yeah, no shit, honey. Like... We can see. I, that's the thing, like, I, I think a lot of people that have surgery, um, genuinely don't think that we can tell. You ever seen a guy that's, like, balding and has, like, a comb over? Why? Why are you combing it over? It's like killing someone and laying a rug over the body. Thinking people just walk across it like it's a normal rug. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> Shake it off. If I started going bald, I don't think I am. I've always had this high hairline. Damn, I look good.
I, I just shave it off. Who gives a shit? It's gone. What can I do? It's nothing worse than a comb over. I can't forgive you. I, I can forgive you for going bald. It's normal. I don't have a comb over. One, they're creepy. And two, I can see it. It's not hiding anything. And I know, Dr. Phil, you did tell me, be happy with myself, love who I am. And I'm sorry to say, Dr. Phil, I do love you. But I have to do these few more final procedures and then I'm finally complete. So please. So ignore Dr. Phil. Okay. I'm going to agree with Dr. Phil. And I know, I, I know, I can hear you all right now about to type to me. But Daz, some people struggle with their own identity. But replication. And in some cases, like this, transitioning. It's, um, it's not changed who you are. You're still you inside. You know, you are stuck with your identity, whether you like it or not. And it's about improving that Proving that inner happiness, working on yourself, no matter what you have to do. So complete, and I'm gonna have the K-pop idol Jimin look. So yeah, so happy to be in Istanbul with Long Javita. Yep, there's the K-pop idol Jimin look. All the BTS fans, when he walks into the room, are gonna scream, Oh my god, look, it's Jimin from BTS. There, look at that. You look like a blind rock star. It's not, it's, it's not working. I'm sorry. You've heard how many surgeries he's had. It will get to a point in his mind where it's not gonna be enough. That's why I don't believe this happiness. There's something else here making this guy do this. And you know what? Despite everyone giving this guy hate, I'm gonna say I hope he finds it, I hope he works it out, and I wish him all the best. But this is not the answer. And I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I just wanna say that if you are struggling with any identity crises out there, stay strong, um, give it time. Sometimes we need time to, to learn about our true selves and you know, just a lot of love and self care, yeah? Don't try and be anyone but you. That's all I can say. Like, love, crest my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.